Well, we've got an update on the Walmart warehouse fire in Plainfield. It's been five days since the fire ripped through the fulfillment center, but today we saw the semi trailer still smoldering in the parking lot. However, firefighters are no longer working around the clock there and ATF investigators are inside looking for the cause. Rich Nye is back at the facility tonight and joins us live with the latest on the investigation and the future of the Walmart employees who work there. Rich. There's still a strong smell of fire here at the Walmart.com Fulfillment Center on All Points Parkway. And lots of people have taken a slow drive by here today and taken a long look at this still stunning scene. And the curious onlookers have that same question as investigators. What happened here? A national response team from the ATF is now working inside what's still standing of the 1.2 million square feet warehouse. The group is trying to learn what started the fire about noon on Wednesday and how and why it spread out of control and burned for hours, creating a huge plume of smoke that drifted north and could be seen all over central Indiana. Investigators flew a drone over the burned out warehouse Monday. Drone Cam 13 did the same last Friday, and here's what we saw. The ATF team includes veteran special agents with fire origin and cause expertise, forensic chemists, and fire protection engineers. The team works alongside state and local officers in reconstructing the scene, identifying where the fire started, conducting interviews, and sifting through debris to find evidence. All of the 1,000 Walmart employees escaped the fire. Walmart will pay employees for 40 hours hours plus overtime and place them at nearby stores and warehouses. Walmart has another huge warehouse right next door to the one that burned. The company said Monday in a statement that thanks to the work of response crews, law enforcement and Walmart's recovery team, our Plainfield Fulfillment Center, IND2, has resumed operations. Additionally, we've extended disaster benefits to those associates displaced by Wednesday's fire at the IND1 Fulfillment Center. Investigators say the cause of the fire may not be known for months. Back live here at the Walmart Fulfillment Center, and you can see that smoke still coming off that smoldering trailer five days after that massive fire on Wednesday. ATF told me they might have an update later this week. One of the issues that has arisen is that firefighters have confirmed that they actually shut off part of the sprinkler system at the area where the fire was burning when they arrived and started fighting this fire last Wednesday. And the Plainfield Ter Fire Territory Chief says that will will be explained and their other tactics in the coming days. Okay, Rich on the case. We're still waiting for answers. Thank you so much for following this.